Mahalo everyone, and welcome to another deck video here on OJ Gaming Channel. You're with me, Joe. And right behind where this camera is sat is an octopus deck. So one of our most popular deck videos of the past maybe four or five years was our shark deck, which no, wasn't themed around Yu-Gi-Oh's Exiles character shark. It was indeed about sharks and megalodons and things in the deep that like to gnash things with their teeth. And so in the spirit of the wonderful film uh, Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus that you should all immediately click off this video and watch, uh, I thought I'd make an octopus deck. And here we have it for you. Um, it's interesting that I have managed to find enough octopus cards to put it through. It essentially involves uh, the main boss monster of Fright Fur Kraken. Um, I've gone for anything that's kind of squiddy or octopusy uh, is allowed. Um, and, you know, it's actually an alright deck. Uh, I think it'd give the shark deck a good run for its money. Um, so, we have Squirt Squid, uh, which is a brilliant name, which can um, affect your opponent's monsters when they're targeted for an attack, and that's kind of a bit of a theme. It's a bit dodgy and weavy, this deck. Um, so, for example, this can get rid of face-up spell cards, Skull Kraken. Uh, the main, like non-fusion boss monster is this Subterra Behemoth, so um, it looks pretty cool, I'd say. Uh, I'm not quite sure how crackeny it really is, it looks more like a fish, but I'm running with it at this point in time. Um, and basically you're just going to want to try and get that uh, summoned face down if you can, hopefully as a result of your frightening presence with the Fright Fur monsters. Um, so I'm using <laughs> For, uh, Fiend Kraken and Fire Kraken, uh, the two normal monsters, and the aim is to try and get those out with things like Unexpected Die. Um, Fire Kraken. It's surprising the amount of non-water types that are in this deck, actually. Uh, it's quite astounding. Um, so the the Fluffle Engine, so we've got Fluffle Octopus. This is actually probably one of the best cards of the deck. It allows you to um, recycle... Uh, Fluffle and Edgimps, so basically you're just going to keep getting them back, and the aim is to be using that alongside Fright for Fusion, um, maybe Polymerization if you want to, and bring out the Kraken, which can get rid of one monster per turn. If you've seen Pirates of the Caribbean 3, is it 3? Maybe 3. You'll know how deadly that is, and it can attack and malice and maim twice a turn if you get it out right. Um, we've got the... I'm going around this deck in all sorts of random order. We've got Fright for Patchwork, which helps in that, so you get a polymerization and the Edgimp monsters. We're not really running many Edgimp searches, so I've just got the Saw, because it looks evil, and the Sabres. Uh, if you... and Oh, I've got the Scythe too in there, and if you think that these don't fit the theme, um, you're probably right, but we need them to bring out the Kraken, so... Yeah, what can you do? Um, they're going to be sat on the boat. I've got in three Summoner Monk. We've got quite a few just kind of spell cards that might be sat around. And it'll be uh, a nice way to bring out um, another four star. Um, so bring out one of the, the Fiend Kraken or the um, the Fire Kraken, which annoyingly won't get you the Predator Plant. <laughs> um, so you're going to have to think creatively there. Uh, Maybe I need to add in another 4-star effect for that purpose. But usually you can just bring out another Summoner Monk or something, and that's fine. Um, <laughs> and away you are. You can bring out the Predator Plant. The Predator Plant lets you search Fright for Fusion, and Fright for Fusion, in turn, gets you the Kraken from the Deep. What else is there? Oh, of course. No Kraken deck will be complete without drowning Mirror Force, uh, dragging you under into the the Davy Jones's locker. I think I've covered basically every card now, right? <laughs> Foolish Burial's in there because it's great. Uh, Triple Tactics is in there because it's great, and Moray of Greed is in there because it's inferior water deck, despite the fact that only Fluffle Octopus and Squirt Squid and Fiend Kraken are waters. Uh, but yeah, I th you got to have more A of Creed in a water deck. Oh, I mean, you're never going to have Fright for Kraken in your hand, are you? Um, yeah, well, that was a bit of a shambles of a uh, explanation, but I hope you uh, 
enjoyed at least the concept of having a deck based around squid and octopus. And hopefully we will see that shark deck against the octopus deck uh, in a duel coming up on OJ Gaming Channel in the near future. Thank you very much for watching.